All right, so today we're in, where are we? Tigrain? Tigre. At what lodge? Geralta Lodge. And we're about to go see some of the oldest churches, probably in the world. Miriam Korkor. Yeah, actually just one church. Because <laughs> we're tired. <laughs> yeah, I've been here three days now. Here we go. This is our guide, yeah. Holly Selassie. Oh! gonna go to uh, this church called Miriam Korkor. Uh, oh, okay, cool. Now we're seeing two churches. <laughs> and these churches are how old are they? Fourth century? Fourth century. They're from the fourth century, which is and one in the sixth century. Oh no, Daniel is sixth century. Yeah. Miriam Korkor is fourth century. That's sweaty today. <laughs> Ready? Oh, I did it! I opened the door! Uh, nice. Alright, so from here, are you guys coming with? Yeah. You are? Big. You're coming? Yeah. Wow, you're gonna walk the whole way? Yeah. Oh, I didn't know this guy could hike. I thought he was too tired the other days. Alright, so Halle Selassie is coming as well. So we got about an hour and a half hike now to go up. So here we go. So it turns out Tesfaye is not coming. <laughs> he looked a little tired. <laughs> it's about an hour hike up to this church. Hour and a half. Hour and a half. But uh... It's leisurely pace I think. I know, we're going pretty slow. Two churches in the same place. So that's good. Miriam Korkor and Daniel Korkor. Yes. We're probably just going to cut to like an hour in. <laughs> They say you should travel to these churches with a guide because you're not ever sure where you're going. I have to go up in between here. We're on some narrow path that I think takes us around to the top of the cliff on the other side. Almost made it through this crevice. Dang. crevices where you're supposed to put your feet are quite sandy and so it like cancels out the effect. <laughs> Dang it, we're doing it for the subscribers. <laughs> we're climbing this for the subscribers. I don't know if everyone would come here. <laughs> Let us know if you guys would do this hike. Yeah, a little bit why we're here. We were actually filming a story for someone else. Uh, so the first two days we were doing that. That mountain over there. Even crazier hike. Uh, you have to use a rope. Actually, this is still pretty crazy. If you do want to come here, tour agency we went with you is called ETT. Ethiopia Travel and Tours. So winded. We made it to the church. Yeah. 
Yeah. Mariam Korkor. Wow. 1,664 years old, so this is one of the oldest semi megalithic Korn has to go on that door. We go on that door. Yes. Take our shoes off. Can we take our socks off? You going in? So this church, super old, honestly, I can't even fathom that it's 4th century. And the frescoes in there, I mean, I'm sure they've been repainted over a couple times in the last thousand years or so, but uh, they're still super old. And you can see a lot of them were worn out. But such crazy history, so cool to be able to witness it firsthand. It's pretty wild, it's like seeing an art history textbook in real life. Yeah, so we're going to go see the second church now. It's really close, so that's good for us. Do you have my phone? Yeah. This place is not for the faint of heart. It's terrifying. Cliff is right over there. Still not as like dangerous as Abuna. This is the church. Yes, this is the church. The church you call it. Your shoe is mandatory. Sock is optional. Alright, so we just saw the last church. 
We're now gonna go over to this epic edge here, fly the drone a bit, get some drone shots, and then we're gonna call it an end for this church time here. I think I took the wrong path. Gotta go up. Almost gonna fall there. It's so crazy. I can't believe these churches. I go down here? I'll show you now quick what it's, how far down it is. Yeah. Definitely one of the more scary cliffs we've ever been at. So this cliff's crazy again, so scary even just standing right here. We're gonna head back down and we'll just cut to the lodge. Show you this place, cause it's really cool. If you do come to see these churches, you should go to that lodge. Almost done. See you guys. All right, so we're back at the lodge. Just gonna take a quick, now we're gonna give a little tour of this lodge and the room here. This is a super cool place you can stay at. This is the balcony of the lodge. Super nice view. So let's go check out our room and then go check out this epic view from their front lawn. Ugh. So this is our room. They have other rooms there, and there. Ta-da! This is our room. This is it. Kind of oh, simple, home. kind of rustic, but you have electricity, you have this nice sweet bed, there's also single rooms. There's also windows. But yeah, it is cool. I mean, it's all made of stone and wood. I'll show you the bathroom now. This is the bathroom. Don't know. There's a toilet there. Sweet shower. This is the shower. This is the shower. There's the toilet. <laughs> the shower has really good water pressure. Yeah. And is always hot. We'll give you a look of the view it has from this place, of the mountain where all the churches are at. Uh, <coughs> but at sunset, so we'll wait a little bit. All right, we're now gonna go check out the view. It seems like there's a dead end to the untrained eye. But I've been in Ethiopia three days now, and I can tell this is the path here. Let's go. That's what three days of Ethiopia will do to you. Those are where the churches are way over there. Alright, 
right, that is it. Hope you guys liked the view as much as we did. And going over here. Oh, my legs. So yeah, this place is definitely super cool. Yeah, the view here is unbelievable, it's so cool. This is Garalta Lodge. Didn't really know, actually didn't know much about Ethiopia before we came, so it's really cool to be able to experience a tiny, tiny bit of it. Northern Ethiopia. Yeah. If you guys want any advice, if you do decide to come to these churches, let us contact us and we can write you some tips on how to... <laughs> Getting to Ethiopia, on which airports to fly to, yeah. And where to stay. Write us a personal message and we can give you some tips on how to get here and where to go and stuff like that. But yeah, we're done. That's it. Goodbye, Ethiopia.